CavRock is committed to paving the way for full integration of mining and rock mechanics to unlock the full potential for mining projects. CavRock's apps and software plugins enable every mining practitioner to apply the world-based practice geotechnical analysis for routine design purposes. The state-of-art advanced numerical modeling is now the state of practice. Sebastian Lobo Guerrero, uh, and I have today obviously with me Suresh Gutta. Uh, we are both very parallel life since the beginning, I think. We're almost the same age. We came to this country at the same time. We both did our PhDs. I think I did at University of Pittsburgh. He did at University of Delaware. Uh, we both started working at ages very early on our careers, and I think now almost 17, 17 years for me, 18 years for Suresh. We're both geotech project managers, senior managers at Aegis Inc. So, I guess the, the company we work just a two minute pitch, um, you know, it, it's based in our headquarters are here in Pittsburgh. We have three offices. It's called American Geotechnical and Environmental Services. We have three offices, uh, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and Virginia. Uh, we really specialize mostly on geotechs for transportation. So that's really where, where everything is. Mostly design, also construction consultation, uh, other things, but, but really it's in design where, where we are. Uh, we also work with other industries, um, you know, like water, all kind of things, oil and gas, but but really most of our experience come on transportation and that's what we are gonna what we're gonna show today. So with that being said, I don't know Suresh, if you want to say a, a quick hi just so they can listen to your voice. And in the meantime I'm just gonna stop my video. Uh, thank you, Sebastian. Um, my name is Suresh Guta. Um, as uh, Sebastian mentioned, uh, we have known each other for uh, more than 17 years. And I started uh, at Aegis Inc. about 18 years ago. And prior to that, I worked in the constru construction industry for a couple of years. And um, yeah, we have been presenting um, and a regular uh, frequency, I guess this is our um, presentation number 12 or 13. I just lost kind of track of it, but I'm sure uh, Sebastian presents even a lot more than I do. But um, it's been a pleasure uh, to present with uh, Sebastian. And um, actually uh, people get confused between us uh, used to a lot more before. Uh, and uh, um, every time we finish a project, uh, um, even on my project, they would call Sebastian and send a nice gift. Yes, <laughs> exactly. It, it's two yeah. foreigners that start with the letter S, right? Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> and some people even uh, uh, call like, a, you guys are like a two brothers from separate continents. But Exactly, uh, uh, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And do, do we, I mean, we do have enjoyed, you know, working in a lot of, of projects together and then as we say, doing these. This presentation, so that gets that takes me to the first slide that we have, which is this, and and it just, uh, I don't know, I, this is just for fun. It's a, it's a quick collage that shows Suresh and I through the years. Uh, I think the one of the oldest pictures we have there is the 2010. Uh, at least I think Suresh have keep young forever, but I definitely not. So <laughs> it, it's just as, as Suresh said, we just enjoy doing this. I think it's part of the, you know, it, it's important to share with the experiences that we have, and it's important to communicate the projects, learn from the projects, and, and try to pass that along. So as, as I say, Sina, thanks for the invitation and, and to talk about this. So today we're going to talk about, you know, GRS, uh, which is Geosynthetic Reinforced Soil. So the outline is very simple. Uh, we're going to start with a traditional landslide stabilization and air retaining structure. So to really understand why GRS has an advantage, what it means, we need to look at what it was before, right? And, and, and what are the other options and why GRS could be could be an attractive option. Uh, then we will pass into the principle of the reinforced soils, uh, you know, wh how, where they started, how do they work, what are the components. Uh, we will move into design and construction, uh, you know, specifically applied to slopes and also retaining structures. And then we'll try to have examples and conclusions. So drill caissons and um, what else, uh, anchors, uh, uh, soil nails, and maybe even landslides. Um, in all those presentations, we used to, uh, well, I used to present more on the construction side of um, the uh, presentation, like uh, case studies and stuff, while uh, Sebastian would present uh, on the design aspects. 